Every week, the contestants will be put through innovative business challenges where they'll compete for $100,000 in cash and prizes. Only one can take it all, and it's up to you at home to click and vote for your favorite. Welcome to the interview season two. So let's get to the teams. First team, Derek Parker, Yaya Wang, Tiffany Klepp, Rob Huber, and Alex Painter. Team number two, Carrie Sansom, Joanna DeRise, Michael Trong, Lori Binfett, and Ryan Bender. Now each team has to come up with their very own blizzard. The contest is how many of those you can sell on Sunday, January 29th from 2 to 5 p.m. You will be judged in three criteria your innovation in the marketing and how it fits with the Imagine No Bullies campaign, and most of all, how many of those blizzards you can sell. So good luck to all of you, and let the games begin. Each team now has only three days to prepare for Sunday's challenge. Get organized, stay on task, do not waste one second of the week, but also stand out. I was on team Tyrad, so we chose the name because it was all of our first initials and we threw it on the board and it kind of fell together and rolled up the tongue. We're and awesome, that's awesome. Sorry, guys. Our team was team dynamic and I was the project manager. I, we lucked out, we've got some fantastic people. It went so well, couldn't have asked for better teams. We got along really well, that's why we chose a team, team dynamic, because we have a good dynamic. If I were to choose my own team, this, is the, this would be the team. We really worked out what we wanted to do and how we kind of wanted to handle uh, the couple days leading up to everything. I feel the chemistry, I feel it, I feel it. <laughs> As team leader, I was really focused on trying to keep everybody focused and just keep moving forward and get results. So I was like going like, oh perfect, we got these like people, they're all trained, you know, and it's fresh. We're going to sit down and we're going to go like, okay, let's do it, do it this. And uh, it's not something that happened. Together as a team doing stuff, we kind of broke uh, into our own little areas. I think we all kind of were, were running around <laughs> like chickens with their head cut off. We didn't really have a, an idea on what we were gonna do. I'm like, I was the only guy that put his hand up to, to talk, right? And I was holding my hand up for a long time and I was, uh, you know, I was trying to be that, you know? And then I'm like, you know, and no one ever asked me to talk. So then eventually I just talked. I think we should all take a smoke right now. I don't have a smoke either. right now and just go, <laughs> right? Derek was a little bit, I hate to point people out, loved, loved the excitement, loved the energy. It's just sometimes we need to focus. Team Dynamic is at the Dairy Queen Trizel Drive location. We are going to learn how to make blizzards. It's a lot, uh, lot trickier than you think making a blizzard. They make it look so easy, but once you get behind the blender there and grinding it and ice cream flying everywhere on the whole floor, it's a process just like anything. <laughs> we were just saying how bullies suck and they're bad and all this negative stuff and then as I was just sitting back listening I went how about bullies bite bite meaning they suck and we thought strawberry chocolate goes together <laughs> oh it went very well I think they have a very good idea of what they wanted to do um, I think their flavor combination is going to be a winner and they I have told them already, if they don't uh, make it with the interview, they have jobs with us at DQ afterwards. <laughs> Team Dynamic! Team Dynamic. Woo! <laughs> I was busy eating. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> if you're going to develop your flavor of Blizzard, you should have that nailed down. And we kind of just tried out different, few different flavors and whatnot, and I just, and that seemed to be a popular one, just strawberry Oreo with the cone dip. Okay. Did you try that? Mm -hmm. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Exactly. Pure blizzards against bullies. Upside down. <laughs> Derek, he uh, he hit the switch a little, a uh, little prematurely, and the blizzard blew up in his hands. <laughs> so we all had a pretty good laugh. I can't believe it went that fast. Okay. Like, I'm gonna... just like tap that thing and it just like went fast. <laughs>
Me and Alex went around, we passed out flyers. It just, I don't know, it just happened that way. And yeah, it just worked well together, I think. The guy just gave me $5 to get out of there, I think. <laughs> We did some canvassing, went to the Southeast Leisure Centre and we went inside and we chatted to a, a bunch of people, gave us some, gave some flyers and we also put some flyers into the cars. Oh, how I want a bullies bite blizzard between two and five. The Canadian Tire actually was really awesome. They handed out and put in their flyers in the bag for each everybody just to support the Red Cross. That was really awesome and amazing. I like things to run efficiently and smoothly, and I work extremely well under pressure, so I was just in my element. <laughs> you know, that's not the first time I've done that either. <laughs> I expected it to be busy, and it surpassed what I thought it was going to be. Just the overall energy, the atmosphere, couldn't have asked for a better turnout, better, better day. Our biggest goal was just to make the whole atmosphere fun. Thank you guys for supporting us. Uh huh. Take a nice day. How is it? It's amazing. It's uh, it's way more difficult than you think it is, and uh, it's kind of kicking my butt right now. I think that there was only twice that we had a few minutes, and like literally a few minutes that there wasn't anybody ordering. We just pump people right out the door. It's That's awesome. what it is. <laughs> you guys are being oh, they're doing very good. They're trying to keep up. I think we need a bigger team, actually. I think they're doing a really good job. It's been steady traffic, so they've clearly really reached out to their network and marketed it well. It's busy, but I would have liked to have seen more signage outside. I've been told the other team actually selected the exact same flavor. So that's interesting. We're going to go see how things are going over there as well. It was started off really, really fast and good, and the, it was actually good for the guys in the back because they got their um, their rhythm going. I was just trying to focus on the task at hand, try not to let too much else bug me and get into my head. Just focus on pushing as many people through the door as we can and raising as much money as we could. I think I think the team mentality was if you're good at that one thing, you'll get better at that one thing. So then you'll be faster at that one thing. Derek was out there uh, jumping around being being the hero, so that was good. Actually, that worked out good because I'm super creative and all over the place. And uh, I know that anybody that went through there back and forth, like definitely had a, had a laugh. You know, by by me being being the hero. But I had to come in to warm up every once in a while and everything seemed pretty well. And so I think everything went pretty well. And people seemed to be really enjoying themselves and enjoying the cause. So it, it felt really good for us to be kind of like a part of that. You know, we had our ups and downs and busy throughout the day was very steady. Alex and Rob were, I think they definitely have a career at Blizzard making at Dairy Queen. <laughs> I was a little bit concerned on their orientation day. They seemed a little bit unorganized, but I've got to say they must have really pulled it together since then because they came today very, uh, very organized, very much knowing what they were going to do and how they were going to do it, and they're doing a great job. I'm, I'm very surprised, and uh, I think it's great. Overall, I mean, everybody was super supportive. I'd say we won. I thought we did our best. Uh, I think we killed it. We, we had a lot of fun. I'm exhausted. It was a long day, but um, the overall, I couldn't have asked for anything better. I know we won. We did really well. Yeah. 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 This concludes this week's challenge for Team Dynamic and Team Tyrad. Who will come out on top? Who will stay? And who will be eliminated? Find out Thursday at 8 p.m. Go online and vote for your favorite.